Hi, boys and girls, and welcome back to Storytime with Mrs. Kuzel. Have you ever filled a bucket before? Maybe you had a bucket, something like this, and you've put rocks in it or water or seashells in it. Well, today I'm going to read a story to you called How Full Is Your Bucket by Tom Rath and Mary Reckmeyer. It's a scholastic book that I purchased, and I think you'll just love it. Let's find out how to fill a bucket in a different way. How full is your bucket for kids? Let's get started. Felix was putting one of the last blocks on his tower when his little sister came in. I want to build with you, she said. Felix scowled. Go away, you're too little. Stay back or you'll knock it over. I'm big. Go play with your baby toys, Anna. I can be very careful. Whack! She knocked down his tower. Grandpa! Grandpa shook his head. Felix, you just dipped from your sister's bucket. Like everyone else, Anna has an invisible bucket. When it's empty, she feels bad. But when it's full, she feels great. Didn't you ever notice your own bucket? Invisible bucket? Hmm, sometimes Felix couldn't quite tell when his grandpa was joking. But the next morning when Felix woke up, there it was, a small gray bucket floating above his head. When Felix came down to have breakfast, his mom was in a hurry. I've got a meeting this morning and it's almost time to go. Anna, sit still. Felix slipped and cocoa wheat scattered across the floor. Felix, yelled his mom. You should have used the stool to reach that. Felix could feel his bucket tip and big invisible drips spilled out. Drip, drip. Ha ha, Anna laughed, and she crunched the cereal with her shoe. Drip. Get the broom and clean that up before you miss the bus, scolded mom. When, with the school bus honking, Felix quickly swept up the cocoa wheats and grabbed the last blueberry muffin. But before he could even take a bite, Buster jumped up and grabbed the muffin from his hand. Drip. Hey, look at Felix's new backpack. My baby brother has one just like that. Drip. Psst, Felix. Drip. Watch out, shrimp. Drip. It was still morning and Felix's bucket was almost empty. As he watched his classmates walk into the room, he secretly hoped they would trip and fall. That's what it feels like when you have an empty bucket. Felix slumped into his seat and waited for something else bad to happen. Mrs. Bobblenickel walked slowly up to his desk and handed him a paper. He could hardly bear to look. Felix, you wrote a wonderful story. Would you please share it with the class? Felix grinned and felt a big drop land right in his bucket. Drop. The class grew quiet. They laughed at all the right places and oohed at the scary parts. When Felix finally read the end, everyone clapped, even Emily, who sat next to him and didn't usually like dinosaurs. Drop, plop, plink, drop. Felix felt a whole shower of drops land in his bucket. Maybe the day wouldn't be so bad after all. Team 
captains today are Veronica and Felix. Drop. Nice cow. Um, it's a dog. Well, nice colors there, Felix. Cool laser ant backpack, Felix. Drop. By afternoon, Felix's bucket was nearly full. At recess, when he looked around, Felix suddenly realized that his grandpa was right. Everyone else had a bucket too. Let me help you. Drop, drop. Here's your baseball, catch. Drop, thanks dude. Drop. Hi, I'm Felix. First day? Yes, I'm Amir. The strange thing was that for every drop he helped put in someone else's bucket, he felt another drop in his own bucket. When Felix burst in the door after school, he shouted, You were right, Grandpa. I do have a bucket, and I understand how it works. Then he saw Anna's torn doll. Bad dog, he almost scolded. But then he thought... Dogs might have invis invisible buckets, too. Your doll will be okay, Anna, said Felix. Mom will fix her. Until then, do you want to help me build the tallest building in the world with my blocks? And so they did. So, boys and girls, whether you're Felix or you're just you, know that we all have invisible buckets. We have real buckets, but we have invisible buckets. Maybe you can think of ways today to fill your parents' bucket, your sister, your brothers, your grandparents, anyone's bucket. Do you know that you can fill buckets by writing letters to people, writing letters to maybe our um, hospital staff, our nurses and our doctors? Do you know that just by helping your mom and dad around the house or cleaning up your room without being asked, there's another way to fill buckets. I hope you have a great day. Until then, I'll see you. Bye-bye.